Hello and welcome to Force 13's forecast for the upcoming Northern Hemisphere cyclone seasons around the world. It's the first forecast that we put out, typically in the beginning of April, in the first days of the month. Uh, our next forecast after this, if there are any changes to make, will be at the end of May, on the eve of Atlantic hurricane season, on May 31st. In the Eastern Pacific, we are expecting 13 tropical storms, 8 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes this year in 2020. The chances of it being below average are 40%, near average 30% and above average also at 30%. So it's a fairly low confidence forecast and that really depends on how much the La Nina event uh, develops in the basin this year or whether it does at all. So this is what we're expecting in the Eastern Pacific in 2020. There's not as much to say about this basin. A 50% chance of storm activity on the Hawaiian Islands, which is rather interesting. That's a much higher chance than usual. So there is the possibility of tropical storms or a little less likely hurricane impacts on the Hawaiian Islands. A 60% chance of storm activity on the Baja California Sur, and that could quite possibly be hurricane or major hurricane activity there as well and a small chance of major hurricane landfall between Colima and Sinaloa in Mexico. Uh, that's an area that we've identified as the most likely target area for a significant hurricane impact, but it's not particularly likely. But if it was to happen anywhere, it will probably be there. And we expect the peak to be in September. Um, now as well, uh, you can see here the uh, western part of the coast has the highest chance of tropical storm conditions. Another little note as well, you can see Colima is particularly shaded in. Uh, that is because of the islands off the coast there as well. They're part of Colima province, so it's not necessarily true that the mainland will be affected in that way. Uh, but elsewhere, you're looking at neighboring provinces. You're looking at the Yucatan Peninsula. In fact, the western Yucatan has a higher chance of storm conditions than the eastern part, which might be a bit of a surprise. Um, the western part of Mexico, Baja California Sur, that looks like a good chance of tropical storm conditions. Looking towards hurricane conditions, uh, we're expecting Veracruz to be one of the highest chances in the Atlantic, so some spin-up cyclones that occur, or some remnants that linger from the Yucatan Peninsula landfall into Veracruz, possibly re-intensifying into hurricanes. Um, on the western side, again, you're looking at coastal Mexico and the Baja California Peninsula. Usual suspects, really. And for major hurricane conditions, chances, again, are very low in a lot of these places. So we're not expecting, with a large amount of confidence, any significant impacts. But if it was to be anywhere, it would be in the Yucatan Peninsula and possibly in Sinaloa or Nayarit. So that is the main bulk of our analysis, our expectations over the coming year. They are just predictions. They can change and they can, of course, not be correct. But like with predictions that we've been doing for the last four or five years now, they've not been too far away from the mark. It's looking likely that 2019 is actually a very good analogue for 2020. So it's more than likely that we'll probably see similar conditions to what we saw last year around the world.